Yo guys, Spotter here. Well, we uh, we we are doing the same thing that we did for Maxis with the galvan knuckling the signs. Okay. Now you can do them in any order. It's just the three signs that you have to galvan knuckle and have them uh, glowing and uh, and have that frequency uh, are the ones that are indicated via the cipher uh, above the lantern spot on the uh, the gunsmith. So here I am. I'm using the Galvan Knuckles to hit the three signs. I'm going over to the third sign. Now, the difference with Richthofen is that you don't get to see the Wisp. He doesn't call it a Wisp. He calls it an Orb. Unless you have Vulturade. You need Vulturade. And it disappears. So it's going to disappear in a second. You walk over it. Otherwise, it'll disappear and you have to do the signs all over again. It'll disappear and reappear at another location. You can see it. You can see where it went with the Vulturade. And see when it went over there? I think that was, um, that was uh, uh, Hypermole who actually walked over it. you got to walk over it to get it from location to location. So there it is above the general store. Hyper's running his butt off, and he's got a sexy butt. Yes, he does. Uh, he's running his butt off to hit it. Now it's in the candy store. So he's going to run over there, jump across from the general store. He's going to hit it, and I believe it then goes to the guillotine. So we're going to run over here, and it's now powering the guillotine, or somewhat powering the guillotine. So we're going to run over here and, yeah. Mm, so it's glowing. Woo, woo. But nothing, nothing. We don't get any, any indication from Richthofen whatsoever. Um, so our idea here, because he talked before about a blood, I think, what did he say, blood sacrifice or schmear of blood, that we have to kill some zombies in around the vicinity now of the guillotine. And um, what actually ends up happening is that uh, we had a, a zombie, whether it was a crawler or it must have been a walker, at another location. He ends up respawning uh, right in front of us. So watch watch what happens when the zombie... Let's see, where is he? Where is he? I'm, I'm trying to... We're, we're actually just trying to hit it or see if it has an indicator to hit X on it, right? And you're going to see the zombie spawn in here. Watch. Hit! Hit now! I want this energy! I must have the energy! So, uh, yeah, the uh, <laughs> so Richthofen obviously wants us now. So he's glowing, right? He's glowing. So we need, I think we need that energy back at the guillotine. So we're going to lead the zombie back to the guillotine, and I'm going to galvan up. Here. All right, so now we're, all we're doing now is uh, killing zombies right beside the guillotine until we have enough and we get another audio cue from uh, Richthofen. And uh, here, it, here it is. Here's what he has to say after this. Okay, Samuel, I don't want you to get upset or worried, but it seems that somewhere along the way, we accidentally tore a teensy-weensy hole in the fabric of time or space. Like I said, it's nothing to worry about, but you need to cross your own timeline in order to put things right. Well, detonate the time bomb near the guillotine, and everything will be hunky dory Hey guys, got some other stuff you might be interested in. Over on the left-hand side, we got NGT Let's Play. We're doing playthroughs right now, currently, of Deadpool and Borderlands 2, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. Both are actually absolutely fantastic games, and uh, Borderlands 2 being DLC, but hilarious. So go check that out. Subscribe if you like the content. Over on the right-hand side, we're doing Clash of Clans, continuing our series there. Again, just a completely addictive and fantastic multiplayer game we got a clan going on we got some uh, attack strategies we got base defense and building strategies so make sure you go check out those videos and subscribe otherwise hey enjoyed the buried coverage i hope you like it twitch.tv slash next gen tactics we're gonna be here all day july 2nd later